I'm Lauren Gray, I work at the Burnaby Village Museum, and I run the steam engine. So we have four stationary steam engines here at the museum, two horizontal and two vertical. And here I'm running one of the horizontal engines here. This was made around 1910 or so. So it's about 100 years old, cast iron. It'll last for a long time. Now this was used originally in a sawmill to run the various saws. Steam engines were very popular in sawmills because they could burn all the sawdust to boil the water to power the steam. So they basically had free power. So the steam comes down here and goes into the valve chest here. And the valves send the steam first to one end of the cylinder and then to the other end. And that is pushing the piston inside the cylinder back and forth. So the steam is using its pushing power to make the piston go back and forth. And that is what's running the steam engine. Here we have the connecting rod that's turning the crank wheel in the back. And that turns the eccentric rod here which goes back into the valve chest and pulls the valve. Our flywheel here keeps momentum going in the engine, keeps it running. And off the side of it, we have the power takeoff with the leather belt. And that transmits the power from the engine to any machine you want. Here we have a grinding wheel running. Now here is the governor. Now that thing's spinning around. If the engine ever went too fast, those balls would spin out and lift up a valve and slow the engine back down again. And then down here, we have the automatic oiler. So off the eccentric, you've got a little rod here that's cranking the oiler, and that pumps the oil into the steam, which carries it into the cylinder and keeps everything nice and oiled. So the valves run the piston, piston runs the crank, crank runs the eccentric, the eccentric runs the valve. The whole thing runs itself. Please come down and visit us here at the Burnaby Village Museum. <laughs>